Hey guys and girls, it's Miko from ML Sound Lab and it's time to get serious about impulse responses. Okay, so I can fully understand people that don't really want to spend a lot of time tweaking IRs, um, just get a good tone and start playing and concentrate on playing. I've been like that as well, but it's safe to say that I'm not like that anymore. And uh, if you are the kind of person that tweaks your tone a lot, if you kind of experiment with different amplifiers, different guitars, even different pickups, strings and stuff like that, um, it's really time to get serious about impulse responses. And obviously uh, my company, MO Sound Lab, we do the Miko, which is definitely the best way to get super serious about impulse responses, not only uh, does it give you unlimited options with different microphone positions? It also gives you the power of fine-tuning every impulse response to your ear and export as many wave IRs as possible to use wherever you want. After all, you may be going through dozens of different amplifiers and not finding what you're looking for because what you were looking for was not actually a problem with the amplifier. It may have been just the cabinet, the speaker and the mic up that you've been using aka the impulse response. The cool thing about using these Miko plugins is that you can create completely new, never before heard guitar tones mixed in different guitar cabinets, which would be really impossible without actually using a whole collection uh, of guitar cabinets and micing them up in the same room and face aligning and stuff like that. Super complicated stuff, but with the Miko it's a breeze and easy and super fast uh, and you don't get ear fatigue with the speed of using the Miko. I wanted to make this video to show you exactly the power of impulse responses. We've released enough Miko plugins to have up to 13 different cabinets, speaker options with numerous different microphones and endless possibilities. So let's check out the tones you can get with the Miko blending different cabinets. Okay, so that's a tone completely unique that you cannot get anywhere else. Uh, the way it was created is actually that I used uh, the new latest Miko plugin, uh, the Mars Silver, which is probably the most mid scooped guitar cabinet that we've ever made. And that is being combined with the Oring, which is the most mid heavy guitar cabinet that we've released. So if you just listen to these guitar tracks, and these are just two different 57 positions on each cab, you'll hear that they are drastically different, but when put together, they sound amazing. So this is just the guitar. Just the orange. So that's the two different mics on two different cabinets. Very difficult to do in real life. Uh, this is a completely realistic simulation of that. So uh, combining these two tones together gives you a completely unique sound that sounds amazing in the mix. And obviously this is just touching the surface of what the Miko plugin can do. This is the first thing that I just dialed in. So let's dive in deeper and try and experiment a little bit more. So for example, I'm a Mesa guy. So let's start with a different cabinet. Let's start with the traditional uh, Mesa cabinet. That will be the Mega 4x12 Old. And uh, let's find, well, let's just place the microphone somewhere in here. And uh, for the other mic, let's choose something completely different. For example, we have a Zilla 2x12 here. So let's choose the Zilla. And now that we have these two mics, I'll just fine tune them. They're still the 57s one on a Zilla 2x12 one 
on a Mega Old, which is based on a Mesa Traditional 4x12. Now let's fine tune these two microphones and find like a really good mix with our ears and see what it sounds like in the end. So that took a matter of 5 seconds, 10 seconds, and I think I found a really awesome full sound that will fit the mix perfectly. Let's just have a listen to these different microphones. So once again, it took me like five seconds to find a completely unique sound and it's super easy to do with the Miko because I can just place the microphones and you know move them uh, around the speaker in 3D space and it's just so fast and easy. Imagine doing this in real life, I would need to have a really loud room, a live room somewhere uh, and microphones being moved. You'd probably use like microphone robots or something like that on each of these cabinets. You can add up to nine mics if you really want to go crazy but you don't you know have to do that obviously you can just use two microphones and that's enough um let's just remove the that one okay let's do this again let's choose something completely randomly let's just come up with some numbers like four and seven so i'll uh change the cabinet four times for the speaker okay a thunder combo and seven times for the Zilla. Okay, so now we're combining a Fender combo and a diesel 4x12. Kind of a random mix, but let's see what kind of a unique tone I can come up with just using the 57s. I may be actually changing the mics as well, but let's see what we come up with. Okay, once again, it took me a matter of seconds and now we have a completely unique tone mixing a Fender combo and a diesel 4x12. Would you be doing this in real life? Maybe, but that's the thing. You never know until you experiment and find a tone that you like. Okay, let's have a listen to these mics separately and then how they sound together. Fender. Diesel. Combined. Okay, and that's it. That's really it. It doesn't really require you to be a skilled professional audio engineer. The simple rules are place the mic to the middle, it's bright, take it to the edge, it's dark, and you find the position that's kind of the right kind of brightness that you're looking for. 
And obviously with two mics, you can go the route of having one bright mic and one dark mic and blending those two together. Or uh, the route that I did here, which is to have two kind of middle brightness variations and blending those two together. And the end result is really good as well. It's not that hard. So uh, I highly recommend you try out the Miko plugins and you can do it for free. And uh, with the Miko player, you can use it as a plugin or a standalone. So just plug in your Mahler to your computer. You don't need to use a DAW like Cubase or anything. Uh, just play through it, find some mic positions. And if you like it, we have really cheap options for the Miko plugin as well. And with the paid plugins, you can export an unlimited amount of IRs and use them anywhere you like. Okay, thank you for watching the video and get serious about IRs. Cheers guys, I've been Nico. Bye.